If you would, you can be turning your Bibles to the book of Revelation, chapter 2. We want to study one of the churches here this morning and see uh, uh, what we can gather from this. And maybe it'll be a, I know it will be a blessing to you because it's been a blessing to me to try to study some of this and, and try to get together uh, a thought that we might uh, think upon this morning and uh, you know, we we try and we try so much sometimes to uh, to serve the Lord and uh, it seems like it's like Brother Larry was talking about trying to find a place to set up. It, 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 it sometimes it gets discouraging, but the thing of it is, uh, like I told a guy yesterday that I was talking to, uh, uh, the devil uh, the devil just wants to incur discourage us. He may have been. Keep us from being encouraged, but uh, this morning we want to uh, read this this scripture here, and uh, it's speaking to the church. And these churches, I, I believe, uh, the more I study it all, these churches are from the uh, beginning of or before the beginning of Jesus Christ, or at the starting of that, until He calls us out. Uh, I believe it covers a, uh, I believe it covers that whole complete age, and it's. It's in sections, and, and we can we can see uh, we can see different things happening as as time grows closer to the rapture. But in verse in in chapter two, the first church that John is writing to is the the church at Ephesus, and uh, we can find over in the book of Ephesus. Eh, eh, let me get this going. We can find over in the book of Ephesus that in, in the book of Exodus, uh, in the book of Ephesians, some of the things that Paul and them were going through as they tried to journey and go to talk to this church. But now the church is in existence still after Paul's departure. And Jesus is spoke to John and he says unto the angel of the church of Ephesus right. Now, <clears throat> first of all, He's not saying to the angel of the church that we have a, a angel, a guarding angel uh, that he is to write to, but he is speaking of the messenger of the church. He's speaking, he's speaking to our pastors, and I believe that he speaks to all the pastors of all the true churches, and he sends messages to us, and we as, uh, as Christians... We need to be a good listener. Amen. And a messenger is one that brings a message, and he don't bring the same message twice. He brings you a message, and you hear it, and you need to know it, and you need to understand it. And so he's saying here unto the messenger, or the angel, not trying to change any wording, of the church of Ephesus right. These things saith he, Jesus Christ, to John, that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. Now look with me back up in verse 20 of chapter 1. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the seven angels, or messengers of the seven churches and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches and so we're 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 uh believing that we're we're seeing him writing a letter to us even as he did two thousand years ago to the church at ephesus the same thing applies to us that applied to them there and the same thing that happened to us that happened to them now this church was on fire. Mm -hmm. This church, this church was, was out there. This church was doing things that was pleasing to the Lord. Now notice here, he says, "I know thy works," and and, and people he he emphasizes works and all about all of the churches. He's 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 talking about works. Notice, he says, "I know thy works and thy labor." and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. 
And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and hast found them liars, <clears throat> and hast borne and hast patience, and for my name's sake hast labored and hast not fainted. So you see, you understand here that Jesus is saying through this letter to the church, hey, you're, you're pleasing. You're doing the work that I would have you to do. You're bearing fruit. But he says one thing here. He says, you haven't fainted. You're not quit. But he says, nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. Amen. Now listen. Uh, there's something going on. What is it's going on? Because he says, I've got something against you. And people, it's the same way with us this morning. These, these, this church was on fire for the Lord. And if you read some of the history behind these things, they, these, uh, these people that were that they were that they hated and called and hated them because they were liars and all this, they would take these people. And, and Paul is mentioned in one of the gospels of of how that he persecuted the churches but they would take those people out there and the men they would cut their heads off because that they weren't uh doing like they wanted to but the women they buried them alive now that's some of the things that was going on and he says here that they had found them liars and that they they hated their they hated their works and all this but he says, I, I've got something against you. I've got, I've got, uh, 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 nevertheless, I have somewhat against you because I have that love, first love. Now, I, I got to thinking, well, what in this world could it be that they were doing that was displeasing to God after doing all of these things? Well, I've come to the conclusion, and I'm going to read something to you this morning, <clears throat> if I can find it real easy, in, in, in verse, uh, and I believe it's in Revelation 3. Let me look and see. Uh, uh, no, it ain't neither. I'm sorry, but anyway, I want I want to say this to you. He's he says in one of the in one of the first chapters that I read that that they had left their first they left their first love by uh, not having the uh, the faith that they should have in, in in him. And God help me this morning that I might be able to teach this Amen. with 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 a, with the thought that I wanted to teach because. I've lost, I've lost, uh, uh, in John, I see it now, Acts, in John 2.15, look, John 2.15, here's what, what, what Jesus is talking to them, <clears throat> in, bear with me, people, he's fighting this morning, I can't, I can't, die. but, <clears throat> Well, let me see this. Jesus was talking to Peter. And Peter, he asked Peter, do you love me? Mm -hmm. And Peter said, yes, Lord, I love you. He turned to him again and he, he said, will you feed my sheep? And he said, yeah, Lord. And he, he said, Peter, do you love me? And he said, yes, Lord, you know what I do. He said, feed my lambs. And he looked at Peter again and he said, Peter, do you love me? Peter <coughs> being discouraged or Peter being beside himself said, Lord, you know that I love you. He said, you feed my sheep. Amen. Now here we see this church here fighting so hard, going out and doing all of these things and doing this work and all of this that they have, they have done so much trying to overcome this devil and his his works and all this that they have left their first love they have forgotten the things that that jesus has done for them and listen this is the problem sometimes that the church here has and the church all the churches is standing for the 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 lord listen we get tied up in such a, a thing of trying to uh, encourage people and trying to tell them about this and about that that our mind is so focused on those things that we have forgotten to say Lord thank you 
for your salvation. Mm -hmm. Thank you for what you are doing for us. And listen, he's saying here, people, he said to the church, church, I know, I know your works. I know what you're doing. I know how you're praying. And so this is, to me this morning, one of the great things that our church or all the churches are doing, and I think this pertains to us just like it, but are leaving our first love. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we get away from the thoughts of a uh, 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 Lord, how that I love you, and we get our, our thoughts on, hey, there's one going out there that's lost. There's a child of mine that's sitting there and, 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 and not, not saved and it's lost, and I'm worried to death about that, and, and we don't look at Jesus and say, Jesus, I know what you're doing. I know how that you, I know what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And so I believe this is, this is what the that that uh, that that Jesus is trying to say to this church, I believe He's saying it to to all of those. If you'll notice in all of these churches, He finds something uh, that is is not right, but He He praises the most of them in what they're doing. So again, uh, we want to see here in this in, in verse one again unto the angel of the church of Ephesus. Right now. Uh, again, I, these 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 messages that we get, and the the message that God sends us through our pastor, and 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 we sometimes we we don't listen to it. We don't have an ear to hear what God is trying to say to us. And this morning, uh, we need to we need to have a prayer on our mouth and on our lips all the time. Precious Holy Spirit, help me to hear what God's Word is saying to me. Mm -hmm. Because, listen, we so easily get our minds off on something else and we don't, we just let it slide right by right. and we don't listen to it. And then we go out and tomorrow you say, well, we had a good message down at the church. Well, what did he preach on? Uh, uh, honey, what, what was that? He, yeah, you, 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 and listen, people, it ain't only me. I know because I do it. I do it, and I, I try to I try to encourage everybody I can that to come and visit the church and and and, and all of this. And they they'll say, well, I've asked people, what's your what's your pastor name? Uh, well, I ain't been going there long. I don't know for sure. <laughs> uh, but listen, those are those are things that are going on in our lives. Right. That that Jesus looks to, down on the, on the world and says, well, you know, there's 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 something that never, I have something that I'd like to mention to you. Hey, do you remember me going to the cross of Calvary? Mm -hmm. Do you remember those times that you were down on your knees praying for one of your lost loved ones or one of those that was going to die uh, because of sickness and I touched them and I healed them and I, I saved your loved ones and this? You forgot that. And, and these, are, these are some of the things, nevertheless, I have somewhat against you. So here, the mystery of the seven stars that is 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 the church. The church is a mystery, mm -hmm. and we we need to try to unravel by the help of the Holy Spirit. Unravel what the church is, because you know uh, uh, there in one place uh, Jesus talked to talked to the church here, and, and he he would, he said to the husbands. Love your wives mm -hmm. as I have loved you and as I've loved the church. And uh, there's a lot of times uh, there's divisions going on even in the homes. And, you know, these divisions is what is wrong with our United States Amen. right now. These divisions have happened and they're worse and they're worse and they're worse. And it's, it's not going to heal by itself. Right. And no one president or no one person is going to uh, heal this. It's going to come right back down to uh, the husband and the wife and the church and the children. And it's going to have to start in the homes and it's going to have to be that way. And so this, this morning, I hope that some of these things that I'm saying to you will ring a, will ring a bell and, and, and will, will get you to thinking, hey, what is wrong in my life? Because I want to look at my life and, and, and when Jesus says to the church, nevertheless, I have someone against you, 
hey, he's talking to you in your face too. Because I know this morning that my life is not not like it should be. I know that there's things that, that I let slide by I, and, and I, I confess to the Lord this morning that I'm not as close to the Lord as I need to be because if I could, I see more than I, I have seen. And, and I, I would have a greater opportunity to be a better witness to other people. And so we need to, we need to think about all our, what are going on in our lives and what's going on in our churches. And I know I got, I got off, on the, uh, off on this, but listen, this thing here, they said here, in, 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 and he, 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 he talked to him and he said, I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience and how thou cannot bury them which are evil. And we, this morning, we should say, yes, I, I, I'm trying to uh, do these things. And they're important. But the thing that we need to know first of all is, and, and, and really think on it is, well, we need to serve the Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. this morning. And, and I, I want you to, I want you to, uh, I wanted to read so, so, many, so many things to you uh, 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 and I had things broke down here that I wanted to remember, but here's here's the wind up of it. Here he says, uh, <clears throat> "Remember in verse five, remember therefore from whence thou art fallen." Now he's considering this falling, and it's not from grace. It's not from grace, but you have. <coughs> You, you have fallen away, you have in a backslidden condition, and he's, I believe he's calling it a bad backslid, backsliding condition because he says fallen away. And we get in that shape, and, and we're still trying to serve the Lord. But he says, remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent. And this is what that the Lord Jesus Christ asked us this morning, is to repent. And if if this word speaks to our hearts this morning, and we see a need of repenting, we need to repent. We need to cry out to the Lord and say, Lord, forgive me, forgive me for what I'm doing, that uh, it's, it's disturbing you. And he said here, because here's, here's, here's the thing. Notice, remember therefore whence thou art fallen, and repent and do the first works, or else, and the first works were love. We love the Lord Jesus Christ because He came in and delivered our souls from a devil's hell, from a from a, a, a torment away from Him forever. And listen, now we can be with the Lord in heaven. And 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 but He says, "I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of its place." Now the candlestick is the church, and listen, He's not going to. Uh, maybe say send a tornado to blow the building away because the building is not the church right this is the church that we're looking at together here and he says what does he say here he says here i will remove thy candlestick out of this place except thou repent and the candlestick i believe is the pastor the seven stars are the angels and the seven churches and the seven candlesticks which I saw, is the churches so the, the candlestick is the church but he's saying also that he will remove the candlestick uh, the candle he said i will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick thy church out of its place except thou repent but this thou hast that thou hatest the deeds of the nicolaitans which i also hate and so they're still doing what they're they're still fighting against what Jesus said and that he hated. But the thing of it is, if we don't repent of not loving him like we did when we first accepted him as our Savior, then listen, he says that the church will be dishonored. Amen. Now uh, that's that's the thing this morning that we're we we should be scared of. If this if this church, if something happens and somebody has to move, another says, well, they're gone, there ain't enough here, and then the first thing you know, another one they, well, ain't nobody to play the piano, so we're gonna go too. Well, it's just that way. In a few years, this church could be an empty building, mm -hmm. or this, this building could be empty. 
And that's what he's saying here this morning. I believe with all my heart that he wants us to repent of not, not loving him like we should. We're not putting, I, I, I'm saying I'm not putting him where he should be, and that's first in my life. Mm -hmm. I'm not putting him there, and he's, he's warning us, he's, I, and I, he gave me this lesson, mm -hmm. and I've studied it, and I've studied it, and all I can say is this morning that works is fine, and works is, and he's, he's, he amends them from being at work, but listen, the first thing we need to do is repent that, that we don't love him like we should. We don't appreciate Jesus Christ like we should. Because, listen, until we uh, have something bad happen to us or if we need something, you know, hey, we'll go ahead and, and be a witness out here. We'll go out and we'll come to church. But the thing of it is, we don't tell him how much we love him. Mm -hmm. And so we don't want these things to come up on us and, and, and have to prove to us, hey, and, and I know, I know what I'm talking about. It, it, it will happen because God's word says it'll happen. Amen. And so he said here, but if thou, but this thou hast, that thou hatest, but this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the church. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life which is in the midst of paradise of God. Amen. And so he has promised us that he give us to eat of the tree of life. And people, I believe this morning that uh, there is a tree of life here on this earth and we eat it spiritually. And we feast upon that every day because we go we go back to Jesus and say, Jesus, I love you. I, you know, and, and I want to honor you. I want to glorify you. And so many times we we just don't do it. Like right. Sure. And uh, God gave His only Son. And uh, we need to think about these things that uh, that we're how we're how we're conducting ourselves towards Jesus and towards God. And listen, uh, offending the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. We can do that. We uh, we can offend the Holy Spirit by by not by not wanting to hear what God's word says. And sometimes, you know, the Holy Spirit will come to you and speak to you in a time when uh, you need this. And a lot of times you say, well, <clears throat> I'll, I'll do this or I'll do that. And if that's don't work out, I'll try something else. Listen, we need to just put put who's first first. Amen. And uh, we, we, need, we need to just, that's, that's it. And so he wrote this letter to the church. If you, if you want to study some more, you read the other churches that he wrote to. Uh, he wrote, uh, 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 he said, in, uh, just for instance, in, in, in chapter 3, unto the angel of the church of Sardis, right? These things said, He that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars that got it. I know thy works, that thou hast a name that, that liveth in our dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. And so he's, he's saying, you got the works. And listen, there ain't nothing, I mean, you know, I can say this this morning, I believe everybody here, if they have an opportunity to witness, they'll witness. I believe if, if they have a, an opportunity to invite people to come to church, I believe they will. And that's a good work. But listen, we need, this morning, we need to do a little bit more. And that is say, Lord Jesus, I love you. Amen. And, I mean, and that's it. Dear God, I, I honor you. I appreciate you. I, I, I thank you. Because I mean it from the heart, not from the mouth. Because I think that's what would be more pleasing to him uh, than anything else. Is to just to hear the words "I love you." And, and, and you take it, you take it physically. Uh, your wife comes to you and says, "Honey, I love you." Or you go to your wife and say, "Honey, I love you." Hey, and mean it from the heart. That there's there's a, there's something there that's that's more pleasant to you than if they brought you in a. a, a a bundle of roses or a brand new car because the thing of it is it's from the heart and they mean it and it's the same way with us this morning we need to love jesus for with all of our hearts and we need to tell him about these things because he knows he knows what we do he knows where we love him now and that's just like peter was when he said lord you know i love you he said we'll feed my sheep amen but anyway 
that's the lesson for today, and I hope that uh, it's going to help you in some way. And y'all pray for pray for us that we could uh, do a better job next time. Thank you.